um, the church actually came to us and wanted to be active in the community. And, you know, normally when churches come, they want to make donations, um, you know, clothes or, or backpacks or school supplies, that sort of thing. But they, they had a different focus. They wanted to be active like in the education part of it as well. We're helping them with literacy, learning about uh, technology, learning about how to use their own creativity in a powerful way, working on self-confidence. They didn't go away, you know, like it wasn't a one hit, I'm here, we did our program, we're out. Nope, didn't go away. They wanted to come and they wanted to mentor our girls and come in and, and, and inspire them and let them know that they could be all they could be. And so for us, as we're looking at these young girls, five, six, seven, eight years old, we're trying to help them see a picture of what's possible that may not be presented to them right at the beginning of their lives. That idea that they have some place to be grounded and to know that they are continuing to uh, build a sense of themselves and who they are and where they may want to be at some point in their life. They didn't go away. And, and I mean, it's just like, let's come and read. I mean, we got readers, we, we wanna read to our kids. Okay, come on in. I've never said no. Like it's, they came with such a, they came in such a way that it was hard to say no because they weren't coming for them. They were coming for, for our children. They just want to be loved. They want to be a part of a group. They want to feel that they're making a, a, a way for themselves, that they're being successful, that there's somebody there to encourage them to do their best, um, and just really building relationships.